can't believe you. Hey, I'm filming now. We get them. Back there. I am filming, you know. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're always hang on. Yes. I do. Huh? What? Am I right? You're right. Hi. <laughs> this is Topper Nod, or better known as the Holy Well. And centuries ago, in the penal days, I think it was the 18th century, uh, the bridge tried to annihilate the Roman Catholic religion. So they put a, a bounty on the head of every priest and uh, they destroyed whatever buildings or churches that they used to say mass in. So the priests became fugitives and had to look for shelter in, in, in uh, safe houses. And then we used to say a mass in the open. And this is known as the Mass Rock. Now I'm sure there's hundreds, if not thousands, of those all over the country. And even mass was said with the cloth spread on the ditches. And they had scouts lined around. And uh, that time, of course, there was no uh, mobile phone. No, and so these guys were dressed, they were known as red coats. And uh, once they seen them coming, they used to alert the people who was listening at the Mass. And the priest would wrap up the, the, the blessed uh, sacrament and, and uh, chat us in that, and remove the collar and scatter. Now, unfortunately, some of them were caught and beheaded. But um, thank God, the days are gone. Now, there's a well here known as the Holy Well. People used to drink the water. There are all the new houses that spread around the place now. The water is unsafe to drink. So, we uh, just use it rest of the So now, first you will just get it. As you can see, it has been done up in the north. As Matt said here, once a year by the Bishop on Garland Sunday. And uh, thousands of people come here to pray. And, Especially in summertime. So well, that's the wedding. Let the touch. I will. I'm like two candles for all the Valentine family in America, <coughs> for all the Higgins, Murray, and Conroe families in Ireland. That's it, out and over. Right, Andy, you're on. Well, hi. Behind me is a picture of my mother and grandmother. My grandmother was Mary Agnes Gleason from Valley Lansford, County Kerry. Her first marriage was to a man called, I'm sure, Lawrence Ballantyne, from which the, the present Ballantyne family originated from. After his death, she married a man called Thomas Foley. And my mother was the only child with that marriage. And after Thomas Foley died, she married a man called Robbie Burdens. And she died in Strand Hill with my mother, in my mother's house, on the 23rd of October, 1935, aged 72 years. And she's buried in Colaspic Brown, Strand Hill. That's it.